Hey everyone, Zach Vandergraaf here with the Dynamic Music Room. Today, we are going to talk about how to add audio. Go away, you. How to add audio to our Google Forms or, you know, any, any other place we want to share it. Some easy ways to get some good audio stuff going on. I thought this trick was pretty cool. So um, I've had this problem. Oh, before I say that, of course, you got to subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out my website, which I'll also include in a link in the description. Uh, that way you see when our when our videos and our content go up. It's good stuff. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I had this problem where I was trying to create a form, and this is just an example. And uh, I, I kind of wanted to do it like, you know, the kids could come here and they would say like, hey, is this song in duple or triple meter? And then they could listen to a short song and they could tell me, yeah, they don't like the spelling of duple. Oh, no, they want me to add an article. That's silly. Um, they could listen to the song. And then they'd be able to, you know, like answer, is it in duple or triple? I just wanted audio in there. Google Form doesn't have an easy way to add audio or whatever quiz platform you're using. And then I stumbled on this. I learned about it and it was awesome. So what you're going to do is go over to vocaroo.com. When you pop over to vocaroo.com, you see it's like, it's, it's, you know, pretty simple, but it, it has a job it does and it does it well. It basically records your voice and you're like, well, I got tons of programs that record voices. Yes, but this one has some cool tricks to it. So you click the button in the middle and it starts recording your voice. You see the buttons blinking. There's the timer going up. That's awesome. It means it's recording. You can hit pause to stop and start and, you know, keep the recording going. Or you can just click the red button again to stop. Click play to see it, what it sounds like, see if you like it. And if you like it, you hit save and share. And this is where the magic happens. You get all these cool little buttons here. So um, basically what it did is Vocaroo has now um, saved your audio file in their, on their services or whatever on there. They're hosting it for you now. So it's, it's on their website stored away with this link. So anyone in this link can listen to your audio, but no one can just search it up. So, you know, don't, don't worry about that. So now here's where the magic happens. If you want to, you know, here's these social icon buttons. If you wanted to, for some reason, share your audio recording on Facebook, I guess you could. You can make a QR code that might be helpful. If you have a longer thing you want to send to kids, you can embed, which is some big HTML code. This is for like websites or blogs. If you go to my website and you look at anything with sheet music on it, and I have it with a flat dio, which is awesome. I usually embed it that way you can get the the user friendliness of their their the, the sheet music right in there it's not just an image you can play it and stuff like that you can download the audio file you can delete it if you decide you don't like it but here is what i found most helpful if you click this button or you right click here you can copy the the thing to your clipboard you can copy the link so then all you have to do is come back here and control V or paste the link right into the question. So now what kids see is when they come here, they'll see this link, which is live for them. They can click on it and they'll be able to listen to it and answer the question. So let's look at them and click preview just to show you. This is what the kids see. So they'll see this and they'll see, you know, your title and all that other stuff. This is just an example, but they'll see this and they can click it and it goes right to your audio and they could click play and they listen to it and it's it's awesome and stuff and it they access it instantly this is the part i think that's really cool you can stick this link anywhere really you can put it in their google classroom if you wanted to talk them through the directions i i wish i had known this at the start of the year this would have saved a lot of trouble with my you know k1 kids who can't read yet i can just stick the link there they can click links they're, they're good at that and they can listen to me tell them what to do and stuff like that so that's just a little bit of how to get this audio into your google form for music and you can really use it for anything get creative i just thought this was really cool and i thought i'd make a quick video showing you how to do this so again if you like this kind of stuff you can you can drop a like you can subscribe to the youtube channel share it if you think it's helpful and until next time keep on singing